Welcome to my views and news. An important update for you on the ongoing conflict in Sudan. We know that yesterday, a 24 hour long ceasefire was agreed by the parties to the conflict. At least agreed verbally. Uh, Antony Blinken, US Secretary of State, had contacted Hamati, RSF commander, and Al Burhan, Sudanese army chief. Uh, the two agreed uh, on. 24-hour ceasefire starting from 6 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, 6 p.m. local time. Uh, though uh, we saw decreased intensity of fighting in uh, some uh, places, uh, but ceasefire could not completely hold. This morning, heavy fighting erupted between rapid support forces and Sudanese military. Sounds of gunshots can be heard. Air strikes are being conducted. Heavy clashes ongoing in the vicinity of uh, a Sudanese armies, General, uh, General Command Headquarters and uh, Khartoum International Airport. So, no signs of any truce. Any 24 hour long truce right now in Khartoum city. That is what we have learned. Yes, in some areas, uh, intensity of fighting decreased. But overall, the ceasefire could not be completely implemented. That is what we have learned from the ground. Now, we are seeing that the intensity of this war so far is centered in and around Khartoum city. Rapid support force fighters in thousands are in Khartoum. They are all over Khartoum. Uh, you can see a map uh, made by some uh, people who are monitoring the developments on the ground. Uh, these uh, marks show the presence of uh, RSF fighters in Khartoum city. You can see that uh, all over Khartoum, RSF fighters are there taking positions, uh, in some cases looting markets as well. Some videos are being shared that market shops have been looted uh, by RSF fighters and uh, both sides in the last 24 hours have been trying to get reinforcements. Sudanese military from eastern Sudan from other parts of Sudan is heading towards Khartoum. I reported that around 48 hours ago they have largely withdrawn from Fashaga disputed territory on Sudan Ethiopia border. They are fighting in Western Sudan, which is a stronghold of RSF, heavy fighting in Al Fashir, in Nayala, as well in North and South uh, uh, Darfur. But you know, from other uh, parts of Sudan, like Eastern Sudan, Sudanese army contingents are heading towards Khartoum because the battle is going to be decided in Khartoum. That is why. On the other hand, we are seeing the same uh, in terms of strategy of RSF fighters that RSF fighters are trying to reach Khartoum city from different directions. Their camps uh, in eastern Sudan were taken over by Sudanese military and from there they are now trying to reach Khartoum. They are facing strikes on their way but they are trying to enter Khartoum. So Khartoum is uh, not only is fighting ongoing there. But in coming hours, we could see a serious uh, escalation involving large-scale fighting in Khartoum city. And this is urban warfare which, which is ongoing in Khartoum city. Because civilians are exposed, they are dying, their uh, collateral damage could be high. No one clearly knows because aid organizations have limited access to the neighborhoods in Khartoum city. From some areas, people say that an environmental disaster could unfold because of large number of uh, dead bodies lying on the streets. 
you can imagine what is happening in Khartoum city. Sudanese military is uh, trying to adjust uh, to uh, urban warfare, street fighting. I don't think the Sudanese military is uh, skilled in urban fighting. And rapid support forces uh, are deliberately resorting to urban combat. They want to fight in Khartoum city. They know that uh, in Khartoum they are less vulnerable to air strikes because there are civilian uh, buildings, uh, neighborhoods in Khartoum still. We are seeing that uh, Sudanese Air Force is conducting air strikes on RSF's hideouts uh, in Khartoum city. How precise are these air strikes? No one knows. Sudan's military is not known for having uh, precision stacking capability. It means that in these air strikes, not only RSF fighters but civilians are dying too. Overall, an alarming situation is unfolding in Khartoum city. People are trying to flee, but how can they flee uh, when there is fighting ongoing, when strikes are being conducted? And where will they go from Khartoum? So overall, we can say ceasefire has collapsed. Two earlier ceasefires, uh, three hour long ceasefires so did not largely hold and this one could not be completely implemented in Khartoum city. The two sides are trying to receive reinforcements for a major uh, collision which is already happening. RSF fighters in control of strategic places but not in full control. Meanwhile, uh, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has chaired a key meeting of uh, Egyptian security institutions and after that Egypt announced that it uh, would not interfere in this war militarily. Its involvement uh, would only be for mediation to resolve the issue. Despite this announcement uh, by Egypt uh, of non-interference in Sudan, some experts are claiming that the Egyptians are already involved, their, air, uh, their airplanes are involved, they are conducting air strikes. But we have no uh, evidence so far, uh, though uh, Egypt's uh, statement uh, cannot be completely uh, believed because uh, you know what happened in Ethiopia that Eritrea kept on denying any involvement in Tigray war when the war broke out in November 2020. It, it was revealed that uh, from day one Eritrea was involved. But back then, if you remember, Tigray was saying from day one that Eritrea was involved. Eritrea was denying, Ethiopia was denying. Later, evidence emerged, Eritrea and Ethiopia governments, they had to uh, admit that their offensive was joint military offensive on Tigray. Here, RSF is silent. I have not seen any official claim any official statement from the rapid support force accusing Egypt of being involved in this conflict. Rather, when Egyptian soldiers were taken prisoner by RSF fighters on Marwe Air Force Base, Hamathi called Egyptians brothers. He said, the soldiers are our brothers, we will return them one situation is peaceful. We don't mean any harms, the soldiers are safe. So, Hamathi has not said a word so far. Uh, and uh, spokespersons of the rapid support force, their social media accounts, nothing has been said by the spokespersons or on these accounts about involvement of Egyptian Air Force in this conflict. So, we'll have to wait. It would be uh, premature to accuse Egypt without having any solid evidence. So far, RS is not accusing foreign players of being involved in support of Sudanese military. RSF is mainly accusing Islamist factions that they are supporting Al-Burhan. RSF is trying to paint Al-Burhan as a radical Islamist. On the other hand, uh, the Sudanese military yesterday accused two countries without naming them that they are providing military support to 
uh, RSF. Though no names were shared by a Sudanese military, so it's difficult to say what is the role of Egyptian military, Egyptian air force in this conflict so far. We'll have to wait to find some uh, convincing evidence to determine the role of Egyptian uh, military in this conflict. If Egypt is uh, fully involved in this uh, conflict, other players will be drawn in as well, especially Ethiopia, which has been uh, struggling to keep Egyptian military away from its borders as Egypt has been threatening Ethiopia over construction of dam by Ethiopia in Bani Shangal, a region called Gerd. Ethiopia is going to start the fourth filling of the dam in coming days and Egypt wants uh, a legally binding agreement over the operation of the dam. Ethiopia is resisting the signing of the agreement. Ethiopia wants talks through African Union, Egypt, Sudan. They've been trying to put pressure upon Ethiopian government. So if Egypt is drawn or if Egypt becomes involved in this conflict, other players will be drawn into but so far no evidence. Uh, what we can sum up here so far is that it seems heavy fighting is going to resume. It is already underway. It is going to start in the center of Khartoum city for the control of uh, uh, three main buildings, General uh, Command Headquarters of Sudanese military, which is uh, not just one building, it has several buildings of uh, different ministries, of uh, Al Burhan's residence, uh, of Sudanese military intelligence, uh, and some diplomatic commissions, uh, buildings to her. Then, Presidential Palace and Khartoum International Airport. These are strategic sites, uh, but the sites are definitely in Khartoum city. So you, you can say urban warfare is ongoing. It will intensify in coming hours in Khartoum city. Thank you.